Hello, welcome to this week's video. Mother's Day is coming up and it's a little tricky this year because we are still very much in a lockdown here in Toronto so I can't actually go hang out with my mom which is the most important thing to me but we can't really do that right now. That said, I definitely still wanted to do something special for her. I definitely wanted to like bring something over, bring a little smile to her face, share my love that way. So I had a couple ideas and one of them was I wanted to get her flowers, but I totally missed the boat on ordering flowers. So I decided I'm actually gonna make my own. I'm gonna do my own like DIY bouquet for her. So I'll bring you along today. I'm gonna try and make this as stunning as I can. Um, and as my mom as I can because Mary she loves flowers okay but she's also very particular with flowers she loves neutrals greens and some pops of color I have this idea in my head there's some there's some greens there's some neutrals and then I'm thinking a couple like really deep reds or purples in there so I'm gonna do that today I'm gonna put that together and bring you along the other thing is I tried to get a vase for this vase vase what do you guys say? And I found one that looked really cool. And so I ordered it and it's tiny. It's beautiful, but it's tiny. Like the, it's for like a few wildflowers. Like I feel like that's all you can do for this. I still love it. And I actually think my mom will love it. Look at the speckles. See the detailing of this? It's so beautiful. I really love this. So I'm still gonna give this to my mom because I feel like she will love it as well. And I'll put a little, like maybe some twigs or some, I don't know, we're gonna find something to put in this, but I need to use a different vase for the main arrangement. On top of flowers, I really wanted to give my mom something she wouldn't typically buy for herself. And one thing that came to mind was jewelry. And actually around the same time, Ana Luisa reached out. And if you guys have seen my previous videos, you will know that I have worked with Ana Luisa a lot in the past. I love that jewelry brand so much. So it was perfect timing. I love Ana Luisa for a few reasons. Obviously their jewelry, in my opinion, is just so beautiful. I feel like they're always very on trend. So they'll always have options. If you, you see a trend going around that you're really interested in, they always have a take on those trends, which is amazing. But then they also always have some really classic timeless pieces as well. Their jewelry quality is incredible it holds up everything that i own it hasn't tarnished i try and keep everything really like i try and read instructions on how jewelry should be kept i just wear them constantly and they're in impeccable condition on top of that the brand just has really really good core values which i really appreciate they are a carbon neutral company they also make all their products in limited batches and that is so that they can ensure the quality of their production they can ensure high production standards so i think in a world that we live in right now where you see a lot of companies just mass producing constantly it is really nice to see that and see companies being transparent and talking about their standards so i know that that will also really align with my mom so I feel like this is the perfect gift when I was on their site I definitely had to find something good for my mom like Mary is particular with her jewelry she doesn't wear much of it and when she does it needs to be very timeless very classic and understated a little less like me I like a little bit more glitz and glam Mary would not do this <laughs> so I ended up finding a necklace I think my mom will really love I love that their jewelry comes in these little pouches they're always great and I actually keep them all because I feel like I have one smaller one that I always use for my SD cards for my cameras like they're just really good for keeping and storing little items in so this is the necklace I picked up for I feel like it's gonna be perfect it's this beautiful understated chain it's it's a little on trend right now I feel like this style of link chain is very popular but I feel like it's dainty and tiny enough that my mom will find it really beautiful and she'll be able to wear it with a lot of things so I'm really excited and actually very jealous and I need to order one for myself because I've been looking for this style of a chain for a really long time. I think they're so beautiful. It's like more of a rectangular square link um, and it's quite flat. So it's not super bulky. And as you can see, when I hold it up to my neck, it's very dainty and very understated. I love it so much. I feel like they also layer with things really nicely. So I'm excited to give her this. So that's kind of the Mother's Day plan. I actually do have a link for Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa has a sale going on right now. It's 15% off, so it's currently live. You guys, if you are interested, definitely go on their site and check it out. These two sets of earrings are from Ana Luisa. Oh. 
Okay, so we are parked outside. We're gonna go in and get these flowers. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. You're gonna tell me what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. And see if you think that sounds like my mom. Okay. Um, so neutrals, greens, and a pop of like deep, either purple or pink, like really deep, like jewel tone colors. And this is for your mom? Yeah. It's like you don't even know her at all. She wouldn't like any of that stuff. <laughs> she would love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna look for. And obviously I need to get a little something for our place too. Oh, okay, I like it. So let's go in, let's check out the flowers. Okay. idea after all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was, I'm not gonna lie, a little stressful because due to COVID times, all the flowers predominantly, most of them, like 90% of them were behind a counter and they were really busy because obviously it's Mother's Day weekend. So everyone's doing this. So it was a little stressful, but I think I got some really good options. I got lots of neutral things. Lots of like wildflower looking things and then a few pops of color. So I think it's gonna be beautiful and I'm excited to put it together. There's a Starbucks up here. Yes, that sounds good. You wanna get that fancy drink you're talking about? I don't know, it's sold out everywhere. It's the brown sugar something or other. Brown sugar something or other. Yeah. Well, I just want a coffee with some brown sugar in it. So. <laughs> okay. I could do some egg bites, that would be good. Okay, in a wonderful turn of events, we stopped at the Starbucks and I used the app and they have the freaking TikTok drink, the brown sugar oat something or other, they have it. So we just ordered two of them and I got a spinach feta wrap, which I've literally had that item off their menu since I was like 13 years old. So it's an OG for me. So we are waiting and I'm gonna go in and grab it soon and we'll let you know what we think. This has turned into a TikTok viral taste testing meal situation. Are you so excited? I am kind of excited. You really have hyped, you've really hyped this up for me. I mean, I've never tried it, so we could both hate it. I know, but... But people online are real pumped, and it's sold out in a lot of the U.S., so... Mm -hmm. The fact, I have actually never seen it on the menu here. And you've been talking about it constantly for the past week, like every night before bed. That's a blatant lie, <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> but... We'll see. Maybe it's worth talking about every night before bed. Who's Maybe. to say? Maybe, Maybe it's terrible. I don't know. We're going to find out. I like it. It's For me, it's not quite sweet enough. I would prefer it like 10 to 20% sweeter. But yeah. other than that, it's, it's nice. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. Because of the name, I think having brown sugar in it, I really thought it would be like crazy sweet. And I... I'm weird, I like don't usually have sweetener or like any sort of sugar or anything in my morning coffees at home, but when I get them from like somewhere else, often like I will go, I, I like it both ways is what I'm saying. So um, I like it as well. And it's really creamy for a non-dairy coffee. But oat milk is always, oh my gosh. It's very bumpy through here. Yeah. Bumpy. Oat milk is always so creamy. So anyway, thought it was good. It, yeah. All right, I'm back. We have secured all the flowers. The goods. The goods. The flowery goods. Um, I also got to pick up another really exciting package. One of my closest friends started a really small home company. Um, so she sells like all sorts of amazing things for um, your home. So I was really excited. I, I purchased a couple things. So. The first thing I got were these hand towels. They're so beautiful. Oh, my cat's coming over. Um, they're so beautiful, I'm really excited. They're very neutral, very, I don't know, on brand with me. 
Um, so it's called Kate & Co. And you guys should definitely check it out. I will also link this down below because I feel like she has such incredible things. I always look for really adorable home stuff and I find it can be a little bit hard to find. So she's got amazing stuff. So, oh, she put this in. It's like a little scrubber, but it's like got a wooden handle. It's so nice. That's adorable. Thank you, Kate. And then the last thing I picked up from her company was, I'm very excited. I've wanted one of these for so long. It's a wick trimmer for a candle. I need to get the snuffer as well, but I just wanted to grab this first. So super cute. I'm very excited about this. So amazing. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I have a flower show right now. So I think I'm just gonna play with these two predominantly. I love this one, but if it were taller, I feel like it would work better for this. And I just don't think it's gonna work. Okay, so I feel a little bit in over my head. I feel like because I had to choose these flowers so quickly, um, I got a lot of like field looking flowers, which I actually think is great because I think my mom will love them, but like so many of these kinds of things. Um, so I laid them out kind of in groupings and then these are gonna be like my focal points. I've got three of these guys, so I might try and keep one for myself because I'm gonna in this vase do a little arrangement for myself to go on this counter island um or in my office maybe so anyways i'm going to start with these guys and work from there and just like see where we go So I am actually so happy with how Mother's Day turned out. Obviously the best possible scenario would have been actually spending time with my mom in person. Um, but I feel like this is a close second. It was really perfect for her. She was so happy with the flowers and the necklace. And I honestly had a lot of fun going and getting it, even though it was a little bit stressful getting all the flowers and not being able to like really think through my plan. Um, I really feel like it in the end, it really turned out very perfect for her. And the necklace was just a perfect, perfect fit for her. She was really, really excited about it. As a reminder, Anna Luisa does have a sale going on. It's at the very tail end of the sale, but I will put the link down below if you guys are interested. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.